So what's it like being home? Mate, they fly in. We were just so fortunate. You could just see the canals and the Tweed Coast and then realise you're home. And I think the big thing with an expedition like this is when you leave, you're not entirely sure. You know, you're not guaranteed of a safe return. So it was really emotional. I had tears streaming down my face coming over the canals. So yeah, just so good to be home. Yeah, awesome. And how was it being connected um, to home throughout the journey? Yeah, I mean, the Pivotel Iridium support on this one, I think is absolutely one of the keys to its success. We had such good connectivity and I think people back home could follow it really well because for the first time we had live video from an Antarctic e expedition of that nature. Previously, only mechanised expeditions have had live video feeds. So a human-powered expedition, wind-powered, with video feeds, an absolute first. And so it was so valuable uh, because of its hardiness. It, it put up with an absolute beating. It operated at minus 45 degrees Celsius. It, you know, just allowed me to stay connected to family, to friends, and also to our uh, public, basically, and get the word out that, you know, on the tough days you're doing it tough and people would really get behind you. And we had thoughts and prayers coming from back home because of that. And on the good days, they could celebrate with you because you were getting such good images and such good video and such good content out. So uh, that gear has just been phenomenal.